Hello there, and thank you for joining me today. I'm really excited to get started, but before we do, I just wanted to let you know that I made a couple changes. So originally, I know I said yesterday that we were going to start writing our post today, our first post, um, but what I, and I was going to just give you everything all at once. I was going to tell you, you know, each section of a high converting post today, and then just um, let you run with it and write your, your first post. But I really wanted to break that down for you day by day, each section of a high converting post instead, so that by the end of the week, you'll have a handful of really good, really well-written high converting posts. So I think that's a lot better. It's gonna give you the, the high converting post formula in bite-sized pieces so that you understand it a little more. We can go dive a little deeper into it. So without further ado, Welcome to day two of the Posts That Convert Challenge. Woo! So today we're going to start talking about titles and how to write a high converting title. Your title, and this is no word of a lie, is it's going to make or break your post. Whether you're writing an email, sorry it's noisy again, I'm in Starbucks, bad choice, but <laughs> whether you're writing an email or a Facebook post, your title is going to make or break it. It actually accounts for 80% of the traffic that you get on your post, right? So if you have a really crappy post, uh, sorry, crappy headline, um, the likelihood that someone's gonna read your the rest of your post, even if it's amazing, really valuable content, is very slim. I've seen entire launches completely flop because of bad titles. Um, just for example, one of my clients, um, she's a counselor, she sells counseling services, and she did a launch with webinars. And her first launch, she sold about $15,000 worth of her services, worth of her packages. And she hired me to go through her, her, her stuff after, and she's like, I don't know where I'm losing money. I put all this money into Facebook ads and it's just not converting. And I changed a lot of other things in her copy as well. But the main thing I focused on were the titles of her emails in her follow-up email marketing campaign. Right, so her open rate before was about seven percent with the emails that she was using. After I used, after I changed them for her, her open rate jumped to fifty-four percent. Fifty-four percent open rate. She went from a fifteen thousand dollar launch to her last launch after I reworked her copy was a hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Hundred eighty thousand dollars in counseling services. Okay, so your title is everything. Everything. So. I guess at this point you're probably wondering, how do I write a high converting title? What's this formula? So there's five main formulas in that I find convert the best. There's thousands of ways to write titles, um, but the five that I find convert really best are number one is the how to headline. So this may sound really simple, and I know you've seen them everywhere, but it's still the highest converting title out there. Okay, everyone is hungry for content, everyone wants a step-by-step -step strategy, and that's why the how-to title works so well. So some examples of this might be how to land your first high-paying client, or um, how, to, how to make men and women beg to be with you, or how to make six figures in six months or less, right? So you're combining the how-to with a really, really strong benefit. Right? I mean, how to make six figures in six months is huge. You're going for these big benefits, right? Or how to get your first high paying client. That's, that's really big for people because they're really intimidated about getting that first client and making that first sale, right? It's the biggest benefit you can think of and that's gonna catch them. Um, the second headline that I find converts really well is the question headline. So this means that you're just gonna ask a very simple question that makes your ideal client um, answer with an obvious yes, right? So when they read this title, they should be like, well, yeah, duh, what, is, what does this person have to say, right? So, and I always want you to remember when you're writing all copy, especially titles, simplicity is beauty. Great copy is simple, okay? So some examples of a question headline could be, do you want more leads? Very simple, very clear benefit. It'll convert really well. People will read the rest of your post. Um, another example could be, are you ready for a six or seven figure business? Always end in a question mark. People wanna know, well, yeah, I think I'm ready. Are you gonna tell me? Or 
Another example is how much should you spend on a coach? This is a really big question for a lot of people because they have no idea what's acceptable, how much of their income they should be spending, should they be going in debt for this kind of thing. You know, again, a huge, huge question, huge benefit. Your, the answer is going to be a huge benefit to them. Okay, so the third title that converts really well is the mistakes headline. So people love to know what they're doing wrong. The, we as humans, we hate the idea of people secretly snickering behind our back. Um, you know, we're, I know a lot of people don't even post in groups because they're afraid that they'll look dumb, like they're posting stuff that everyone else already knows about or already knows the answer to, right? So that's why the mistakes headline works really, really well. Some examples of this would be five mistakes most people make when writing their own copy. I used this in one of my posts, which converted really, really well. I got three big clients out of that one post by using the mistakes headline, that headline I just gave you. Um, another example could be 11 mistakes new coaches make that keep them broke, okay? Again, a really big pain point, and they wanna know what am I doing wrong? Why can't I convert these calls into clients? Why can't I convert these posts into leads, okay? Um, another example could be three mistakes I made when I first launched my business. A lot of new people out there, a lot of people know they're making mistakes, but they don't know what it is. Again, mistakes sell, okay? So tell them what they're doing wrong. And then in your post, I'll teach you this um, later in the week, but in the post, you're going to give them the answer to their problem. Um, so the fourth headline that converts really well is called the proven methods headline. Um, it converts really, really well because people want to know, they want science, they want um, you know, an actual formula to success to reaching their goals. So some examples of this could be 18 proven techniques to get you fully booked, fully booked in 30 days or less. Okay, the word proven um, converts really well in almost any title, right? It's a proven technique, it shows it's 100%, you're not know, just some random person talking about things you've, you've read somewhere. Right? Um, another example is three copywriting methods from Fifty Shades of Grey. I also use this example in a really high converting post. Fifty Shades of Grey was kind of in at the time. And it also has that risque factor to it um, and that converted really, really well. Another example is could be seven reasons I will never work from Starbucks again. Now I'm working in Starbucks right now, so clearly that title wouldn't apply to me. But um, for example, the noise in the background that you're hearing right now could be one reason why you would never work at Starbucks again, right? So it, it catches their attention. They're wondering, should I be working from Starbucks? I'm a freelancer, I'm there right now. Why shouldn't I be? Is that affecting my image in somehow? And they're gonna read the rest of your post. Okay, so the fifth headline that converts really, really well, and it's my personal favorite, um, but it converts really well because it's, it's called the attention headline. So it's basically a crazy statement that gives people a glimpse into your life. I love using this headline because it completely throws people off um, and they'll, they'll usually click on it thinking like, well, what the hell is this chick talking about? Like, she's crazy, why is she posting this random headline in an entrepreneur group, right? Um, so it converts really well. So some examples of some really high converting posts that I've written for my clients and myself um, using this attention headline is um, my two-year-old woke up at 3 a.m. screaming bloody murder, right? Huge. What does my two-year-old waking up at 3 a.m. have to do with business? Nobody knows, so they click on it. They're looking pr probably for a reason to call me crazy or tell me to get out of the group. Um, but in the end, I'll sh and I'll show you how to do this later in the week, we're going to switch it around and convert that into a business idea or you know, the moral of the story. But I'll show you how to do that later, right? So that's one example that converted really well. Another example would be, was I saw a ghost last night and then in brackets I put true story. People, again, ghost stories, I don't know why it interests people, crazy stuff like that. You know, maybe they can relate to it. A lot of people can relate to it and people did relate to the story I told. Um, another example was, he broke my heart. Here's how I'm going to get revenge. Okay, so everyone wants to know how I'm going to get revenge on this guy. Um, turned out the revenge that I was going to get is, and I, I kind of, you know, switched it around into something I was selling, and the revenge I was getting was doing a Facebook ad campaign, um, and the, the moral of the story was um, 
success is the greatest revenge, right? So again, I'll teach you how to do that, how to switch the story into something related to business. Um, but that was a really high converting title. Um, another example of this was a title that I used. Um, while renewing my license, a guy asked me to be his third wife. True story, very interesting. People want to hear it. People love story. It pulls them in, right? And that's why this attention grabbing headline works really, really well, especially when you're telling your personal stories um, or even your inspirational stories. It's because people, they want a glimpse into your life. You know, that's why, that's why the Kardashians are were so famous. People just want a glimpse into your life, right? They want to know what's going on with you and they just love a good story. So there's the five highest converting titles. I've tested almost every title, uh, every type of title, and those are the five highest converting that I've found um, work really well on both emails and Facebook posts. Okay, so remember, simplicity is beauty. And actually, if, you're, if you find that your, your posts get really long, this is a good tip for writing copy. Um, I will write my posts sometimes, or I'll tell my clients to write their posts on their cell phone. So it's almost like you're texting a friend, you're telling a friend this story or this information. When you're telling a friend this, you're not going to blab on, you know, you're not going to write an entire novel about, about how, you know, it's not going to be like a really long post. You're going to keep it short, simple, to the point. Again, it's going to be conversational, which will convert really well as well, also. So write it on your phone, write your post on your phone, it'll keep it nice and short. And make sure your sentences, when you're, well, we'll talk about the sentences later. Okay, but write them on your, your phone. It converts really well. It helps a lot. So your tasks for today are number one. And this is kind of a side note from the title thing. But I want you to start, con con excuse me, start engaging on other people's posts. This is going, I, what this is going to do is going to build up your engagement rate with the Facebook algorithms. And so when you actually start posting these posts that we're going to write this week, when you actually start posting them in the groups, they're more likely to be seen by the people you want to see them. Okay, so what I want you to do is comment and like on other people's posts, and then if they comment back or they like a post of yours, I want you to add them as a friend. Okay, so let's say you comment on someone's post, you're like, I really like this post, great job, blah, 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 and they comment back, they say thank you, and then you can like, like that comment or do a smiley face or whatever you want to do, and then add them as a friend. So what this does when you're both engaging on posts and you're adding them as a friend is they're more likely to see your posts. They're more likely to get that notification in their feed that says that you just posted. Okay. So that's why I really want you to do that. And even, but I also want you to remember, I only want you to add people who would be your ideal client. Only add them as a friend if you think they'd be your, your ideal client. So if they have, you know, a picture of their cat or their dog on their display picture, probably not your ideal client. Okay, so people that you would want to work with, that's who you're going to add. Everyone else, it's okay to still like and comment because you're still building that engagement with them in that group. Okay, um, so the second thing I want you to do for today is do your mindset work. So I want you to visualize and journal every single day. Okay, I want you to pick a goal. It could be, let's say, a financial goal for the end of this month or maybe next month, but we'll do the end of this month just because it's closer, it'll get you more excited. Something that you feel is realistic, but also a little out of your comfort zone. Pick a financial goal, and I want you to visualize having it every morning, and journal, you can also journal in the morning or journal at night before bed, and you're gonna write your life, you're gonna say, I'm so grateful now that, um, and then just go from there. So it can be things that you already have and things that you want, but I want you to write them and visualize them as if you already have them, as if it's in the present right now. Okay, um, the third thing, so this is your task today for your, what you need to do in terms of writing, is I want you to make a list of high converting, benefit driven, attention grabbing titles. So I want you to take these five, five title options, five title um, scenarios that I've given you. Um, if you, you have other ways to write titles, you can do that as well. But I want you to spend 10 or 15 minutes just writing out as many titles as you can think of. I want you to just go crazy, get wild, push people out of their comfort zone, be vulnerable wherever you can about your stories, about, you know, like I was talking about my breakups and stuff. That converts really well, right? When people get a glimpse into your life. So just write as many as you can tomorrow. And I'm really excited to see all your titles and give you some feedback on that. Have a great day, guys.